What up, though, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. So we're going to go on to get into a Scorpio and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Hold on a second, y'all. Okay, I have to get my voice together. Okay. So let's see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Okay, so someone could be sending you with lots of signs and synchronicities. Okay, you could be seeing 1111, 222, 333. Okay, now this could be Archangel Angel Michael sending you these signs letting you know that you have protection. Okay, and you are protected from someone because there is a dark energy around you. Okay, I feel like someone here has been trying to communicate with you maybe telepathically, maybe this person has been trying to send you messages through like music, maybe they've been trying to send you messages through like dreams or these different number patterns, okay, with this 1111. This could be your divine counterpart, okay? For some of you, I feel like Archangel Angel Michael is here protecting you from this person, okay, right now, because there's a dark energy, and this is someone that's trying to get in but they're still in this dark place, okay? This is someone who still is operating in their shadow self, and they need to overcome this, okay? Someone here has not gone through like an ego death. Someone here has not gone through, they have not done the work, and it's like they're trying to skip the process basis. Like this person's trying to skip go, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to get their $200. They're trying to go on and go past go and come to you and spirit's like, nah, player, that is not how this is about to go through. So I feel like right now, for some of you that's especially been seeing a lot of synchronicities and stuff, it's because it's this dark energy that's trying to communicate to you. But that's as far as they can get is just sending you those signs of synchronicities, okay? Spirit is not going to let this person communicate to you because they're still in a dark place. This is someone who's not able to give you what they what you need, you know, what you deserve. So it's like if this person comes through and able to communicate with you, all they're going to do is hurt you all over again, okay? <clears throat> now we have this soulmate energy around you, you guys, okay? And this could be someone that you have a similar friendship, okay? So soulmate could be anyone. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be romantic, okay? This could be like a friend, could be a soulmate here, okay? And this could be someone that you're dealing with. Now, this could be someone that could be wanting a commitment with you, okay? This is someone who looks at you or wants a long term relationships so for some of you this could be someone that you're dealing with now or this is going to be something that's going to happen in the future okay you're going to have this person for for a lot of you i feel like it's going to be a romantic partner you're going to meet this person okay a romantic partner this person's going to see something very valuable they're going to see everything in you that nobody else did okay and this person's going to take that risk they're going to take that chance you know now there's someone in your energy, I feel like, that you're the only person that can quench this person's thirst, okay? Or someone here, like, has some type of insatiable thirst. It's like, it's like they, they want this and they want so much more. And because of this, it could be causing some type of adrenaline rush, okay? So this could be someone that's maybe getting some type of attention or they're going through some type of roller coaster of emotions. And for some of you, this is your twin, this is someone you have a soul contract with, okay? So, yeah, for some of you, okay, I see what they're saying, okay. So, remember I said you're going to meet this soulmate. For some of you, like, you're going to have a similar path to this person. Like, there are going to be differences between you and this person, but you're going to be very similar, okay? You're going to have a lot of similarities. For some of you, this person may feel like your twin. You know, you may feel like the, the last person you dealt with, like, shit, that must be my fake twin, and this must be my real twin here, okay? But this is going to be more of a soulmate. This is someone that you want to experience a romantic relationship with, okay? This is someone who's going to see something very special, something significant in you. They're going to see something very valuable within you that for some of you, your divine counterpart did not okay and for some of you this relationship is going to stand a long haul like this is going to be a lasting bond between you and this person and for some of you you will be getting married now this person here for some of you your twin or this person that had this 
this this quench the thirst like you know it, it was like you wasn't enough to quench this person's thirst like you know they had to have multiple men or multiple women you know to quench their thirst in order for them to be satisfied you know this is someone who was had that player type mentality you know they felt like just one woman and one man one man just wasn't gonna do you know they needed multiple women and multiple men to feel happy i feel like someone here could be doing something you guys are going to get this adrenaline rush okay now for scorpio for some of you this commitment this long-term relationship is going to have you on the highest of highs it's going to give you this adrenaline rush because you haven't never felt like this like this is someone who's going to do things for you do things to you that you've never felt before and it's going to give you this this rush of adrenaline okay and i feel like this commitment for some of you is going to have this person on this roller coaster of emotions you know like their feelings are going to be so up and down they're not really going to know how to feel about this okay because the world has been crumbling since you left them since you walked away from this person it's like their world basically just flipped upside down you know they've been trying to pick up the pieces since you've been gone and you were someone who really meant a lot to this person they really did truly care about you and you really did mean a lot to them now did this person take the time to express it to you or did you know that while dealing with this person for some of you yes some of you know this person don't want you to lose hope on them so someone here has been trying to work on themselves now for some of you someone could be sending you signs of synchronicities or you can be getting these reminders i guess from this person they're trying to let you know or, or they're wanting to i feel like communicate with you not to give up hope on this connection but i feel like for a lot of you guys you're being protected from someone okay and it's because of this person that's in this dark energy because these two cards came out right together okay these synchronicities and this protection and then this came out at the bottom so i feel like someone here is still in a dark place and this is why you're not going to get communication you and this person are not going to come together look like no time soon because they still are trying to talk to you they're still trying to get through to you it's like they don't want to do the work though you always deserve more than i was able to give you yeah this person knows that you deserve way more than what they were able to give you but at the same time it's like they still trying to cheat they still don't want to do the work i do love you from the bottom of my heart and i will never stop so there is someone i feel like could be this person that wants to have this long-term connection with you could be this person from your past but there's someone who does love you from the bottom of their heart and they saying scorpio i won't stop you know what i'm saying i'm going to keep on loving you no matter what if you get married and move on to somebody else i'm still gonna love you You know if you decide to give me a chance i'm still gonna love you no matter what i'm still gonna love you scorpio so let's see who this is about let's go to the who did well, let's see who this reading is about for my scorpios i love you scorpio and i hope something here has resonated with you guys <clears throat> all right messages for scorpio who was this about that does. All right, who is this about, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. Who is this about? All right, this could be about someone who has abs, the six pack. All right, we got blonde hair, age 25 to 30. Who is this about? All right, this could be about someone slim. We got pretty girl. One more. All right, we got 2025 and someone who has dimples. All right, so let's get the signs. Let's see who this reading is about. All right, y'all. So we have Heavy Gemini, Virgo, Leo. Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Libra. Capricorn, heavy Aries, I mean, Capricorn, heavy Sag, and Aries. All right, you guys, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.